All right, roll the shoulders, shake out the legs. Because we're standing, let's start with flexibility and standing. If you need to sit down, absolutely. We're gonna go back to our base move, but turn it into a stretch. So we're gonna drive the heel in, hinge slightly, stand tall, and change. So drive that heel into the ground, lean slightly, and step in. Heel, really press through that heel and replace it. You can have a chair, obviously, in front of you, anything. If you need that for stability, let's do one more on each side. Gentle hinge. Last one on this side. Drive that heel down, toes up. Good. Now separate your feet a little bit wider for a bigger base of support. Turn gently toward this side, not too far. Come back to the middle, but go to that side again. Good. To the other side, you decide how far is comfortable. Come back to the middle. Other side, second side, hold it. And release. Take a seat with us, two of us. Terry's going to stay standing. Hope she doesn't mind. Remember, we did a lot of side lengths. So let's go ahead and stretch out that muscle group. Reach up on one side, other hand down by your side, and reach up and over. If you've got a chair with a leg that can support you a little, that's a blessing. So let's release, go again. And release, go again. The magic number is going to be three on our stretches today. And release, switch sides. Take your time getting set, shoulder blades back and down. Gently to one side. And release, reset. And especially in standing, do keep those eyes open. You want to keep your balance, feet apart. Always have a chair or countertop nearby. Hamstring stretch forward. We did that with the heel drive. Good. Step in, change. No rush here. Lean into it. And release, switch. This time I want you to bring your arms behind you. Pull those elbows back. Keep them back there. Switch. Again, pull those elbows back. You held that bow tie for a while, and it tightens up the pecs in the front. But switch, three and three. And switch. Lean forward, pull those elbows back. And release. Well done. Seated core, standing options, longevity fit 360. For Sarah, Terry, I'm Amy. We'll see you next time at Body and Soul Fitness. Everybody, you guys did so great in that longevity fit 360 workout just now. High energy, a lot of focus, a lot of balance training. You are doing the hard work to stay healthy regardless of our age or fitness level. And Longevity Fit 360 is a great way to do that. So as we finish our workout and our time together today, I just wanted to share a thought with you from Proverbs. Don't you just love the truths that live in the book of Proverbs? And we can take so many of them to heart and really, really stew and marinate on them throughout our day. And so I pray that that might be what you do today as we consider Proverbs 4, 4, which says, for us to let our hearts hold fast to the word of God, that we would keep his commandments and live. And in Longevity Fit 360, we are all about doing the, the work of fitness and good health for the long run, longevity, so that we can continue to be healthy, not just physically, but also spiritually. And so may Proverbs 4, 4 really marinate in us today and maybe over the next day, to come that we would focus on God's commandments, that we would really plant his word in our hearts and know that it will grow there. And because of that, we live 
we can live a real life, an authentic life where we serve the Lord and we love our families and our neighbors and we serve in our communities. And that comes back to to us being healthy in our bodies, right? And so I'm so proud of you for sticking with this Longevity Fit 360 workout to the end to spend just a moment with me before you go on about the rest of your day and just be encouraged today that you are loved. We are so glad that you're a part of our fitness community. And let God's word settle into your heart. Keep it there. Hold fast to it. Hold his commandments and live. Live that long and healthy life. And we'll see you next time.